Okay, by now on both this job and this whole series of videos, we're all really tired of our clutches. The first thing a lot of people do after putting their transmission back in is find they can't get their car into gear when it's running, or they find they've got a grindy, chunky reverse. If this never happens to you, you should know immediately that it's a problem. It's not the transmission causing it, it's not the shifter. It's not your shift linkage. If your car isn't shifting right, that's what happens when the clutch doesn't fully disengage. If any of this sounds familiar by now, it's a super easy fix provided your car was assembled correctly. You just bust this nut loose and turn the rod. It's so simple a caveman can do it. If you can't shift, back it out. If your clutch slips, turn it in. The hardest part is getting in there with this big ass camera to do it. Ideally, you want to have about two and a half inches of pedal off the floor at your friction point when you have the clutch adjusted properly. If you've got it backed out so far that it only has one or two threads in front of the lock nut, you're doing it wrong. Try adjusting the cruise switch if this happens to you. This is what regulates the height of the pedal. This thing's important because it's physically adjustable and can even prevent several electrical components from even functioning. It's far more important to have the pedal adjusted for correct functionality of the hydraulics and electronics than it is for its aesthetics. If you look at all of your pedals together and the clutch looks offset from the rest, or if you can't get the friction point high enough off the floor, you might have a worn pedal assembly. Look at it more closely. You have a little bit of room with this assembly to make adjustments to the pedal height. To do this, you'll want to unplug the cruise switch harness and back the switch out to raise the pedal or screw it in to lower it. All you need is a 14 millimeter wrench and a caveman with really small hands. Don't forget to plug the switch back in when you're done and make sure it's making full contact with the pedal. Failing to do this will prevent the cruise control from working. To check your clutch adjustment, start the car. Set the e-brake. Push the brake pedal. Push the clutch pedal. Put it in gear. Slowly back off the clutch until your RPMs drop. Where they drop is where your friction point is, and that's the point where the clutch begins its engagement. If you start it and you can't get it in gear, back the clutch cylinder rod all the way out and try it again. See if your condition changes. The reason you want the friction point height to be two and a half inches is because you want the clutch disc to have enough room to fully disengage from the flywheel and pressure plate. If you're in range of that and you're happy with it, you're probably done. But once you feel the clutch master cylinder adjusted properly, Walk to the front of the car and push the fork towards the driver's side. You should be able to push the slave cylinder all the way back in. If you can't, you're preloaded and you need to either adjust the rod again or raise the pedal. <laughs> Alright, the last thing you want to do to check your clutch's adjustment is to uh, disable your launch limiter and uh, make it so that you can rev the car up all the way through the RPM range. And uh, with the rev limiter disabled, you want to put the car in first gear, push the clutch in, and uh, rev it up to 7,000 RPMs and see if, the, see if the car moves. If the car moves, you're experiencing clutch drag, and clutch drag kills synchros, so you definitely want to check this before you put it out on the road. got a worn out pedal you might not have any choice in fixing the geometry of where your friction point is short of replacing the whole pedal assembly you can order parts individually but if you have to replace most of them don't think twice replace the whole assembly because it's easier this thing's got pins cotter pins bushings plastic washers sleeves springs and all kinds of crap in it to keep it from squeaking or from even breaking the clutch pedal itself in half but it still happens anyways Racing clutches aren't easy on these old ladies, and there's nothing quite like pushing a 3,355 pound Eclipse by yourself out of morning rush hour traffic through an intersection and up a hill into a parking lot, steering through the window wearing your shiny loafers while you're late to work. Let me tell you, that takes determination, and it sucks the most when you're stranded with an otherwise perfectly running car. So check your pedal for slop. Just grab this thing in the pedal and do the hokey pokey with it. You'll know it if you feel it and how bad it is. The more massive the clutch, the faster these parts wear out. 
Now if you've done all this, but you continue having adjustment problems with your clutch, check the side of the clutch master cylinder to ensure it's not leaking inside the car. There would be sticky or slippery stuff on the rubber seal or leaking down the inside of the firewall, and your fluid level would also drop. So pay attention to where the fluid level is when you're finished. Don't forget to pump the pedal a few times and check the slave cylinder for preload when you're done. So there you have it, clutch adjustment in a nutshell. I'm going to leave you now with 1G clutch assembly parts. I have to be fair, we love our 1Gs too. Its assembly is very different from a 2G as you can see. Read the video info for links to more information from transmission builders about clutch adjustment. It's good to do your research if you're your own mechanic. Also, don't forget to let me know if this helps you in the likes and comments.